Welcome back to a short video to show you how to use this uh, Excel interface. So the data is here. This is the original data. Now here on the graph, you have the shifted data, uh, which are those two columns. And you can see again that in red, remember from the last video I already mentioned, but the cells in red are basically what you need to change. So the discharge is given, the distance of the observation well to the pumping well is also a given. Uh, again, this is the same example as we did in the last videos. Uh, so now what we want to do is fit the data just like we would do manually, basically fit this data to one of these curves. Now, the way you do this is by shifting 1 over u or w u. So 1 over u here corresponds to the x axis. So of course, when you change this red um, cell here, the 1 over u red cell, you will shift the data left and right. So let's say I'm going to go 2, I want to shift it to the right. And you just saw it shift to the right. If I do it even more, let's say 10, right? So I'm shifting left and right. And then of course, WURB is the wells function for uh, the leaky confined aquifer. So if I change this, this is the Y axis here. So the Y axis over here. Now if I modify this, I'm going to switch up and down. So let's say 0.5, for example. And you can see I just shifted down. Okay, so obviously I'm too far to the right. So let me go back to the left and I'm probably too high. This is about right. So let me go uh, 0.2 maybe. Oh, that's way too low. Way too high. Uh huh, not bad. Okay, and now we're right on that green curve that looks like a beautiful fit. Uh, and again, we can go read what this R over B curve is. So this is the green one starting from the bottom here, that second green one, and R over B equals 0.3. So now that we know that R over B equals 0.3, we go and plug it in here. Obviously, it was already solved for you, but now we would do this, and that would calculate the transmissivity automatically uh, and the um, uh, storativity, excuse me. So the transmissivity here, storativity here. Um, B, the leakage factor. And again, this is given here by this equation. Uh, this I haven't mentioned, don't worry about it. That's like some conductance, we don't really need those. Uh, and then finally, if you know B prime, like I explained in the uh, lecture, so if B prime is 10 meters, then you can actually calculate the hydraulic conductivity for um, the leaking layer, right, for the aquitard. Um, okay, and that's really it. So again, here you have the equations that everything is solving, um, the leakage factor here. And yeah, this is how you use it. So essentially, you know, paste the data, change those two values until you find the fit on the curve, and then, you know, write down or write in uh, the value of R over B and everything is calculated automatically. Okay, thank you.